Capricorn, what is up? It's your girl Cat. We're going to do a weekly reading and right now at the bottom of the deck we have the Five of Swords, which is feeling very defeated. Feeling like you gave everything you could to a situation. All right, let's see what we got here. So you're starting off the reading with making plans, all right? Thinking about making plans, possibly traveling here. The beginning stages of emotions. This is a message. Uh, pages are messengers. It's the beginning stages are just a message about love. And the Two of Cups is a very strong partnership. Uh, very hard to break this up. Very strong connection here. So could be traveling um, to meet somebody that could be a potential love connection for you. It's a very solid uh, partnership here. All right, and then in the second row, we have conflict. It could be conflict, inner conflict, or conflict with somebody else. Uh, the moon, this is undisclosed thoughts and feelings, just keeping shit to yourself. Judgment, that's a second chance at something. Then in the bottom row, we have the 10 of wands, which is carrying a very heavy emotional burden around with you. Three of Cups, which could be leaning on family and friends for support, or it's just going out with family and friends quite a bit. And the Seven of Pentacles, which is all about watch and wait energy, right? Um, so let's see what we have here. All right, let's start off with that Three of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands here? Traveling, to putting in the work. Yeah, I feel like you're making plans to go travel, to go see somebody. This just jumped out at me, the Nine of Swords. Something about it has got you stressed out, all right? Why is the Page of Cups here? Justice, okay. Could be a legal matter, could be somebody that... Um, Hmm. Could be somebody who has a legal issue, or it could be just about being treated fairly, wanting to be treated fairly. Okay, and we have the Two of Cups, which is that very hard to break. Walking away from the Two of Cups. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I do feel like things took a turn when I pulled when this jumped out at me. Actually, I feel like maybe this isn't this isn't happy. Like maybe you're traveling to go see somebody that you're, you're arguing with. Because look, here's conflict. Why is conflict here? What's up with that? Queen of Cups. Could be a water sign. Um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Or somebody who's just very emotional. Or somebody you have a lot of feelings for. I feel like you're you're at an odds with them. You're, you're arguing with them. Or fighting with them about something. The moon is undisclosed thoughts and feelings that you're keeping to yourself. I think you're thinking about leaving this person and starting a new path, a new journey, but you haven't you haven't expressed that to them yet. And I think maybe that's why you're traveling to go see them, to tell them that you're walking away. But wait, here's a second chance. What's up with that? Why is judgment here? Clarified by judgment. Getting a second chance is something. Okay, so what I'm picking up, Capricorn, is you're gonna go visit this person. You're gonna go go to go see this person. And I feel like you're going with the intention to say, you don't treat me fairly. This isn't what I want. You're not putting in the work. I need to walk away from this connection for my own safe and peace. Even though I have all these feelings for you and I care about you, we just, fight too much it's not working out for me right you're all planning on this new journey this new path but I don't know if that's what's gonna happen here with judgment might give it another chance I feel like this person might talk you into giving it another try all right why is the ten of wands here this heavy emotional burden you've been carrying around what's that all about yeah, going to turn into success and victory. Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here? 
I know, that's half the deck. This one's upside down. All right, hold on, I'm just gonna give it a shuffle. Why is it three of cups here? Strength. Could be dealing with a Leo or you're having to be strong about something right now. Maybe trying not to give in to them. The seven of pentacles is all about watching and waiting, planting a seed, waiting for it to grow. Ten of cups. Okay, so what I'm getting is you're going to tell this person that it's not working out, that you argue too much or something like that, you're not being treated the way that you want to be treated, they're not putting in the work, you know, and then you're going to walk away. And then when you get there to tell this person you're starting a new path and journey, they're going to say, no, wait, I want a second chance. And um, it looks like you're going to give it to them. And it's going to be successful and happy. And... Um, you know, I think you're going to give it like a kind of like a watch and, watch and wait sort of vibe, like a, a like a trial period, you know, and it's going to go really well and you're going to be very happy again. So I think this person is going to put in the work and do what it takes to, to, to save this relationship between the two of you. All right. Uh, I feel like I want to pull these. I love it when they jump. Right, let's see what it says. I need my glasses. I want to message you, but I'm scared you might reject me. I wish I could be there for you, but I don't feel ready. So this person's wanting to talk to you, reach out to you, but they feel like they're not ready for that just yet. And then I feel like I also want to do the Lovers Oracle Quarch. So I feel like there was like a lot of disagreements between the two of you and you decided, you know what, I'm just going to separate for the sake of peace and this person won't wait, hold on. Not so fast. Yeah, romance. Cupid's arrow strikes, baby. Yeah, you get a second chance at this. I mean, you got double judgment cards. This is not this is nothing but a, re a reconciliation. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. That's what I have for you for this week. I hope that you like that. Definitely coming back around for a second chance with you. All right. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you hit that button and join the Scorpio Cat family. The more the merrier. Um, all right. So that's what I have for you today. Take care until next time.